Hi, in this problem we're going to evaluate this limit. So the first thing we should always try when evaluating limits is to take this number here and plug it in to see what happens. And you see right away, if you do that here, you end up with uh, 5 minus 5, which is 0. So you get 6 times 0. So you end up with 0 on the bottom. And you cannot have 0 on the bottom of a fraction. So that is not going to work in this problem. So we need to do something else. And that something else is going to be factor. So let's go ahead and rewrite this and factor this piece here. This is the limit. As x approaches 5, parentheses, then we have 1 over. And let's just factor by guessing. So this is x, x. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 5 and add to negative 4. So, well, 1 and 5, those multiply to negative 5. So I'm going to put a 5 here and a 1 here. And since the negative 4 is negative, the bigger one should be negative. Now, let's check this. So this is a good guess, right? Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. But we need to check everything. So let's do that x times x is x squared, looks okay. Negative five times one is negative five, looks okay. Now, as for the negative four x, what I do is I take the inner piece, which is negative five x, then take the outer piece, which is x. If you add them together, you get the middle term. That always works. So the inner and the outer should add to the middle term, and they do, so this also checks. Okay, this is minus. 1 over 6 parentheses x minus 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, keep going. This is the limit as x approaches 5. And I'm going to show you a very powerful shortcut for doing this subtraction here. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Um, you can multiply by something to clear all the fractions. That's one way. Um, you can make the LCD the same in both cases. That's another way. I'm going to show you the fastest way to do this. And this is just one way to do it. So I'm going to draw a line here. And the LCD is going to be the product of everything you see here. So what they all have, the least common denominator. So 6, x minus 5, x plus 1. It's almost this. We're just missing the 6. And this is going to be the LCD. And then what you do is you take this number. And it's 1 times what's missing here to get the LCD. Well, you're missing the 6. Minus and then 1 times what's missing here to get the LCD. Well, you're missing the x plus 1. Again, it's whatever's here times what's missing. You're missing a 6. Minus whatever's here times what's missing. You're missing an x plus 1. And that, that always works. Another way to do it would be to... In this case, multiply by 6 over 6. And in this case, multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1. And then perform the subtraction, and you would get the same thing. You would get 6 minus x plus 1, which is what we have here. So multiple ways to do this problem. This is the limit. As x approaches 5 of 6, negative 1 times x is negative x. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Over 6 parentheses, x minus 5, x plus 1. Let's keep going. This is the limit. As x approaches 5, 6 minus 1 is 5. And then we have the minus x here, so minus x. All over the stuff here on the bottom, so 6 x minus 5, x plus 1. This is equal to the limit. As x approaches 5, and now what we can do is we can factor out uh, a negative 1 from this piece here. So the reason we're going to do that is because we have a 5 minus x here. But we would like it to be x minus 5 so that they cancel, so we can plug in the 5. So I'll put a negative 1 here. Then you say, okay, 
What do you multiply by negative one in order to get negative x? Well, x. And then what do you multiply by negative one in order to get positive five? Well, negative five. And this is all divided by six parentheses x minus five x plus one. So this is the limit. As x approaches five, these go away, so we end up with negative one over six parentheses x plus one. And at this point, we can go ahead and replace the x with five. When we do that, we drop the limit sign. So this is negative one over six parentheses five plus one. And that's equal to negative one over six times six, right? Because five plus one is six. And that's negative one over 36. And that would be the limit. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.